Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the National Credit Union Foundation's 15th Annual Herb Wegner Memorial Awards Dinner. I hope that's for the Ed Fund. <laughs> there is a God. When my good friends unmask the guardian angel, and he's out of the closet now, we know who he is, and he's the kind of person that ought to be up here. That was a great video, but it understates the fact that all of the things that Ed Callahan took credit for there, quite frankly, was just part of being a team member. I'll be remiss if I don't thank those dear loved ones of mine who put up with me all these years. Linda, my wife, and my family. I'm proud that my son Dan and Maureen are here. They've tolerated my weekends away and time gone and where's dad this month and all that and I look around the room and it's like you all understand what I mean we've all been part of this same thing together and we know what that's all about I have to tell you honestly I really got a break try being a regulator for 10 years <laughs> and ending up being CEO of a credit union. You think about that. <laughs> I died and went to heaven. I've said this many times. But the board of directors of Patelco Credit Union took a gamble that a regulator just might be able to run this place. And they've supported me greatly, and they afforded me an opportunity to have the best damn management team you could ever, ever want to have. It made me look good. In order to get that record, I had to be out of the office a lot, just so Andy and the team could get all these good things done. I stayed out of their way. And what was I doing? I was working with the greatest team of credit union CEOs and management you can imagine. The cooperative movement is so privileged with the multitude of things that have been happening in recent years. When I think of all of the partners in this room that I've been privileged to be part of. At this juncture, I want to make something very, very clear. This award is not about me. I'm privileged to be here and try and get everybody out of the closet that have worked so very, very hard doing things cooperatively. And it's only the beginning. I look at the new century, and I think about the potential. And I think about this passion for working together that has enabled us to put our members in a position where their lives are so much better than anyone else participating in financial services. And we all know that this is true. And we haven't seen anything yet, not by a long shot. First and foremost, as far as I'm concerned, we're the best kept secret in the world. And I'm here to face you down and tell you, I remember hard times in the early 80s and all those things, but I'm here to tell you, every American has a right to belong 
to a credit union. And all it is, we need to do to make that happen is take this best kept secret and make it available to all Americans so they can know the real power of cooperation and what it will mean in the lives of them and their children and their grandchildren and all of us who go forward. And you think of the problems in the world today, what could be more valuable than cooperation for every American and then extending this blessing to everybody worldwide. I say God bless you all, I love you all, and God bless America.